hello everyone welcome to apple learners and in this video we're going to see how to extract product name price rating and a url from amazon using robocorp so let's go ahead and see uh, first we will see the demo of it and store it in a csv file and later we will see how we can do that firstly let me show you uh, the page that we're going to extract and this is the page that we're going to extract the details from and we are directly opening the page with the details we are not searching and then extracting it so it will go directly go to this particular page here and it will extract um, these details if you see here this is lava and it will extract the price from here and uh, the name the, this is the product name this is the price these are the ratings uh, it will it will extract this one 4.3 out of 5 it will extract this detail out of it and uh, what else it will extract the url of that particular product so it will extract all these details from here and we are only doing it for the page one we are not doing it for the page two right so keep that in mind as well so it is only for the one page if you want to do it you can do it with the multiple pages as well so let me close this and show you a demo first and then we will see how the code is working let's run it will start the process let's wait for this to start the process after that it will open the browser it will navigate to that particular url and then it will start extracting those details and finally it will store it in a csv file so it is loading the web page is amazon mobiles after it completely loads it will start extracting those details and it will also maximize the browser if you see it is extracting one one by one all those details from this page So it is successfully able to extract it let's go ahead and see uh, the csv file if you see here which is amazon data.csv which is created just now and if you click here yeah and if you see here we have the product name uh, the first one is lava if you see here lava if I Z, so this is first one and then the price is the rating which is 4.3 out of 5 if you see for the first one it is 4.3 out of 5 and if there is no rating it will um, return us the empty empty value and it will also give us the url of that particular uh, product so this is the output of the particular code so let's now let's go ahead and see how the code is working um, for extracting this we used python library which is created and uh, we also created a python library and we use that python library to extract these details let's uh, first see this one what are the libraries that we used in order to complete this task uh, one is we are using the rpa.browser.selenium where um, we are using the open browser and all the other things which is related to browser automation and for creating a table and then um, adding those details to a csv file we are using rpa.tables library and this is our library which is data scraper dot uh, which is our python library by using uh, we are using that to extract uh, the details from the web element and in order to create the table we are, we are adding those values to the collection then we are converting it into a table so we used library collection library so these are the libraries that we have used in this particular task and second one is the variable uh, here we have the headers of the particular table which is name price rating and url uh, we created a list of names here uh, for headers uh, which is our variables then we have uh, two different keywords the first keyword is opening amazon browser and if you uh, already uh, following our previous videos uh, we already done how to open a browser here as 
open available browser it will open this particular browser and uh, this yeah uh, it, it will open the browser and it will also maximize the browser and this is if you want to get the particular browser then we can use this alias because it is a first browser and we can indicate in, we can get those browsers with those aliases names and it will wait for two seconds it will go to sleep it will stop stop the process there and then it will continue after two seconds now the second keyword is extracting those details right and uh, what what we are doing here is first we are getting the web elements of this particular xpath if i open this url again we already copied let's copy this and if i go here in the chrome then url and if you see um here yes uh, the first one is changed let's inspect this and i will show you the x path how we have taken the x path as well and by the way it is not a straightforward one uh, you need to check uh, the x paths which is working and if you see here we are taking a class which is s result item s s in so let's go here and find out the div element which, which has that particular class if you see here wait for some time yeah now i guess it is loaded if i indicate this if i go here and indicate it let's indicate this and this is you go here this is the main element right and here is our main element of this particular result it is the second element this is the this is the fourth element so if you see here in all these elements right here in all these elements uh, if you see the class is s result item s is in it is kind of a common thing for all these uh, results which is class s result item s is in this is s result item s is in right and if you see here it is it is different here s result item s widget not the s s in so we are taking if a class that has this particular value which contains this particular value but if you see here these are different values uh, if you navigate to all those things this is different so this part is common so we are taking this particular part and we are telling that if a div, div element which contains a class of this particular value then get those web elements so it will extract all the web elements which has this particular class here like this whole whole thing and it will give us so let's close this and next we are creating a list just to add the values to the list when we extract those url price and all the other things now we have all the elements which are which is the web element which contains our required values it has this name the value and the ratings all the things will be present in this particular class on the x path so we have now we have the web element so we are iterating that web element we have each element in this web elements which has data which is each element and uh, we are just capturing the element screenshot it will give you this little screenshot where uh, you can see whether that particular element is captured or not this is really not necessary but i have just taken this show you i will show you what will happen there in the log it will add a just a capture screenshot so that you can see what is the value that it is extracting and and if you see here it, it extracted apple iphone 13 pro is 128 gb and if you see here this is uh, the capture as element screenshot and let me close it here yeah 
after opening the browser right here and we have get result text which is our, which is coming from our library python library on all these uh, four keywords coming from our python library so let's go ahead and see the python library and then we will get back here so if you go here which is our python library we have one get result text which gives us the name of the particular element where we are telling that we are providing the result which is the web element and we need to get the return value which is web element dot find the element by tag name h2 and we want the text out of the particular element and if you see here if i expand this and this one and this one inside this div right this is the main class and this is the name right here the name is present in h2 so we are, we are telling that in inside the div of this web this complete web element if you find a h2 tag give me that particular text value so it will return a text if there is if it doesn't find any of those values is there is a, if there is any error it will return an empty value so this is for the name product name and then the url and if you see here we have two lines of code where we first we are getting the element by tag name which is a and then inside that we are getting the attribute value of href why we are doing that is and if you go here when you if you if you see here which is a and then inside it has an attribute of href this a is a tag so we are finding first this particular element which by the tag name a and then we are getting the href attribute value which is the url of that particular product first we are the link of a tag a inside the link get the attribute href so you will get the url of the product next result price and if you see here result find the element by class name we can also find the element by class name not only by tag name we can also find it by the class name as well and we need to get the text out of that particular element and what is the class name and if you see here uh, let me expand this uh, this one this is the um, ratings if i expand this and is this one um yeah if you see here uh we have a price class name a off screen right this is this is the class name and we need to get this particular class name in order to get the value or you can still expand it if you see here there is a price for symbol uh, this is the complete price which will give you with the symbol of this one we can use class off screen or you can use um, this one a price symbol or a class of a whole price price whole which will give you only the number so here we are using a price whole which will give us the only number without the symbol of it uh, if it doesn't find anything here it will uh, simply return the empty value after that um, we are getting the ratings and if you see um, first we are getting a result dot find element by xpath first we are finding this particular element inside this tag we need to find this element and then we are going to get the values out of it and if you see here uh, this one uh, first it has a div class and then inside this there is a span and then uh, we have the value of it and in, because we are finding the span element div and then span if you see here uh, first we are telling a class a row a small size and then a span and if you go to the website now we are telling if you find a div class and then there is a span of a class name which is area label get me the text of it uh, we, uh, get the attribute of it which will return which is if you see here uh, which is the area label which will give me the 
this particular value which is 4.4 out of 5 stars so this is how we created our python library and it, if there is no rating it will return the empty value right now we have all the things which are covered it will take the web element and it will provide as the name url price and the rating from this python library now we need to use this particular value here so what we are doing here is we are taking a variable which is text and we are using this particular keyword which is which gives us the value of get result text which will return a value which takes the input of web element so we are giving the input of web element and we are getting the value of the name and it is same here we are giving the element web element and we are getting the price here also it is same we are giving the web element and getting the url here also from the rating we are this is the input which is and we are getting the rating out of it and then we are creating a list of those values text price rating and the url and we are appending it to the empty list that we created here so we at the end we will have a list of values where it has text price rating and url and finally it will return the particular list of values now we have all the keywords that are ready now we need to execute this particular task and in the task section we have data scraping demo and then first way it need to open the amazon browser first it will do this task and then we are assigning it to the amazon data the data scraping results so this the keyword it is this keyword is returning this particular value and this value is assigned to amazon data now amazon data has all the list of values which is extracted here and we are creating a table and create table from the list of values which are this one is the amazon data which is returned by this particular keyword here data scraping results and we already created headers which is column headers and if you see in the variable section we given the headers as name price rating and url if you don't give those values it will simply mention 0 1 2 3 indexes then we are writing table to csv which is amazon table and we are writing it in the current directory and then output amazon data.csv is the name of the file so let me go here let me delete this file i guess now uh, you are able to understand what we have done let me close this as well and make sure you are writing the correct xpaths and all the other things let's go ahead and execute this again and see um, if you are able to get the output and this is how you extract the details from amazon or any other site from um, values and paste it in a csv file and you can write it in the excel file if you have any other doubts do mention them in the comment section below and if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos and i opened the browser now so it will extract uh, one of now it is getting all the web elements after that it will iterate each web element and it will extract the name price rating and the url from those web elements and this will be the same for any uh, website that you want to get the values out of it so this is completed now let's go ahead and open on this one and see whether we got all the values here And if you see here we got apple iphone it is the same value and price and rating and the url as well but this is how uh, you will get all the values um, from amazon website through an excel or a csv file and this is only for one page if you want to make it for the another pages you can simply iterate it and open the second page then do the same thing and then append those values to the table and finally write it here and that's it uh, for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos thanks for watching